Good day everyone! Today we are going to explore about the Ubuntu terminal using basic commands. So first, let us define what is Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Linux distribution based on Debian and composed of mostly of free and open source software. We are quite familiar on how Ubuntu desktop look like since we already installed the OS in our virtual box. Just like any other operating system, Ubuntu has also both the graphical user interface and the command line interface. In Ubuntu, this command line interface or CLI is called the terminal. So let's open now the terminal. So this is the this is the terminal of the Ubuntu. Let's try some commands here in our terminal. We want to show the list of directories available, so we should simply type ls. ls to show the directory listing and hit enter. And now that we see the list of directories, let's change the directory to desktop. Doing this, simply type in cd, cd desktop cd desktop and hit enter directory now changes to desktop let us try the pwd command or the print working directory this prints the current working directory so let's type in pwd and hit enter and as we can see it prints out our working directory Let's try the cd command. CD, cd command changes changes from our current directory to the default directory or the home. Type in cd, enter. So it changes back to the default directory. Let's try to make some folders in our desktop directory so by do, doing that simply type in cd desktop desktop and we want to make a folder in our desktop so so the command is mk dir and the name of the folder or or simply its file name uh, test folder test make make directory test folder so as we can see in our desktop the test folder is was successfully created if we type in ls we can you can see that in our desktop we have here the content content and the test folder so we want to add some text file in our test folder doing that simply type in cd and test so we are now at the test folder of our of our desktop directory so by in making in making our in making our In making our text file to the folder, let's let's type in touch touch command followed by the file name of the text file. So touch let's say file one file one and if we hit ls file one has been already been created in our test folder there there is also another way in making in making a text file with the cut greater than and followed by the file name of the 
file name of the text file so let's say file 2 and hit enter if you type in ls file 2 has successfully been created created so type in clear to clear the terminal and type in ls to show the the files in the test folder and if we want to delete a file we can simply enter rm and name of the file if we say we want to remove file 2 type in rm file 2 and if we type in ls file 2 was already been deleted now let's try the copy the cp file 1 file 2 file 2 command it copy file 1 to file 2 so let's say that we have a file to here nano nano file 2 and inside this text file we can say hello everyone everyone control x type in yes file 2 type in enter type in ls and there you go file 2 has already been created and copy file the copy file 1 to file 2 if we type in nano file 1 oh, sorry file 1 we can see that file 1 is, is empty let's go back and we sh we and now we ca we must copy the content of file 2 to file 1 so by doing that we can simply type in cp file 2 to file 1 file 1 and if we try to check the file 1 nano file 1 the content of file 2 has already been copied there you go hello everyone was there you go that hello everyone is copied from file 2 to file 1 earlier we checked the file 2 with its content nano file 2 okay they, ha they are now in with the same content if we want to to merge these two two text files we can type in mv or move or mv file 1 mv file 1 file 2 this will move file 1 to file 2 and if we hit enter type in ls we can see that there is already there there is only one file because we have moved it move file 1 to file 2 next the next command is the uh, sorry we should clear this clear and type in cd to go back to the home directory and so the next command is the more file it outputs the contents of the file so let's let's check from the desktop and let's change the directory to desktop cd desktop desktop hit enter type in ls to show the content of desktop and here i already i already created a content content of the text file so if we try to check the content of the, the content of the content text file in nano 
content. So here I have already type in line 1 to line 10. Control X to exit. So type in more then the name of the the file content content so it it outputs the contents of the whole content of the file the next the next command is the head file it outputs the first 10 lines of the file so let's try to add the content up to 15 line 15 so nano content let's add the content up to line 15 line 11 line 12 line 13 line 14 line 15 Control x to save y hit enter so let's try the head file command head and uh, followed by the file name content hit enter so as we can see only 10 lines here only 10 lines are being presented or being printed the next command is the tail tail file tail file command it outputs the last 10 lines of the line so we already know that inside the content there is only line 1 to 15 and if we try the tail command it outputs the line 15 up to the line numbers line 6 tail content hit enter so there you go that line 6 to line 15 is being printed because tail tail command only outputs the first 10 uh, the last 10 lines of the file type in cd change to the default directory and type in clear to clear the terminal so that is all the basic commands of the Ubuntu terminal. Thank you.